Welcome back to the show, the Cottage and Backyard Show coming up at the EY Center this weekend and they always bring unique elements to the show and this year they're bringing a lot more artists which I love to see local artists in particular. We are joined by two fabulous artists here on the show. We've got Judy McKay, artist, sculptor and painter with Worldview Studio. Welcome to the show. Great to have you here. And we also have Gary Matthews from Gary Matthews Woodturning. Gary, welcome. Great to have you Thank here you. as well. You and Gary, you have your pieces out, out front here. When, what was your introduction to wood turning? Um, I started as a younger years. I was just when we were harvesting firewood, I was just when we were cutting trees, you had seen all the neat colors that were inside of it and uh, just kind of followed that along. And then in high school, got into turning on a wood lathe at a real small scale. What does and it mean uh, to, to turn wood? What is the process it's, exactly? Uh, you take the piece of wood and you mount it on a lathe and it's turned with an electric motor and you take a chisel and you sculpt the outside. It's sim similar to pottery other than you're using oh, okay. a chisel instead of your hands and you make your forms and finish it up that way. These are beautiful pieces. Yeah, and thank you. Wonderful. What's yeah. great is they're functional pieces of art. They are. Right. They're, they're, you know, they're great for a popcorn bowl or you know, if you want to put your cheesies in it or your Caesar salad or whatever. Yeah. It's a very functional form. I was thinking this one. I love it. I, I have a little junk bowl and I'm always looking for something nice and, and, and welcoming and inviting and I live out in the country so that would be a perfect little mm -hmm. key bowl kind yeah. of throw yourself keep it yeah. neat but yeah. it's That's it's kind of hip yeah. and current. That piece mm -hmm. is a burl which is just kind of like a cancer form to a tree. It's a growth that grows oh, where yeah. the blood's okay. been fractured yeah. and uh, we just carve them out and that way you can see all the nice colors that are inside of them. They're mostly a decorative piece but some people use them for a candy dish or yeah, they're absolutely yeah. beautiful. And Janet, you create beautiful art yourself. Well, you and your you. husband, Mitch, have a Worldview Studio. And you sent us some photos, and we're going to bring some of them up on the screen. But wanted to talk about where do you get most of your inspiration from when it comes to creating art? Well, Mitchell and I were both uh, uh, artists, and we're painters and sculptors, but we're cottagers too. And right. that is where our inspiration comes from. Um, uh, in particular, I've been working on a series of reflections on boats. And uh, they're, they, they just take me back to the cottage every time I see them. It looks, right. This one that we're looking at right now is, a, is one of Mitchell Webster's uh, paintings. And you can see it's by the sea. And I think we're all longing to be by the water with a campfire. No this doubt. Time Absolutely. I couldn't yeah. agree with you more. At sunset like that. And this yeah. is one of, uh, this is a kayaker. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of my paintings. It's, a, it's called Autumn Kayaker. It's, we went out for a late autumn paddle last year and it was just a glorious day. I think it was the last perfect day for paddling. And there were a couple of kayakers out there. and. Oh, we just enjoyed it so much, and whenever I look at that, I'm back on that lake. I can and, hardly and wait to get there. Reflection. Is it difficult to do reflection as an artist? Well, I find it fascinating. I love how the uh, water affects, um, is, reflects the, the canoe or the kayak, but then it reflects back up into the kayak as well, as yeah. you can see in the picture. The, the water is reflected in the shiny red canoe. It's kind of like it tells a, you, you see the water and it reflects back a different story, but very similar to what you're seeing. So it's, it's just mm -hmm. a constant reflection of a new kind of art. Now, it, I love how um, they, they're so real. When I first, at first glance, mm -hmm. I thought it was just, oh, it's a nice yeah. picture that somebody took. But it's quite remarkable, the detail that you do in that. Well, thank you. It's yeah, very good. Thank you. Beautiful. Do you yeah. work from a photograph? Or I do. Or do you work from memory? Okay. I do. Uh, Cor Mitchell, he's usually at the back of the <laughs> canoe paddling <laughs> while I'm snapping away pictures. Yeah. It's you you really got fun. the good job on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like I'm that. I'm very lucky. <laughs> he's very supportive of my art career, as I am of his. And yeah. you're, you both work together and you're here locally as well, aren't That's you? right. We work in uh, Ottawa and at our cottage near Charlotte Lake. Gary, I think a lot of people would be surprised to see that, you know, backyard cottage show, maybe art isn't first and foremost in their mind. Why do you think it's important to have this element of art in a show like this? Well, I think that people can reflect on, you know, the woods that your cottage is in, that maybe the tree that fell over can be turned into a functional piece of art that you can put in your cottage and say, well, it's a family heirloom that come off of our property. Lots of people uh, approach me with, with that idea that you yeah. know, come take a tree down because it's dead or what have you. And you can get nature's it's beauty true. It's out a of great it. point because mm -hmm. we have, mm -hmm. like I said, we live out in the country, we have thousands of trees. And as soon, I had Hydro come around to clear the property line and I was so upset, not, not terribly, but I was 
pretty upset and they were cutting sure. down trees. I was like, no, don't do anything with them. But I love the fact that you can recreate it and keep it so it's not entirely lost. Yeah. Like, sure. And you're and you're giving back, you're putting back into the environment. So it's like a recycled wood, it is. but it has yeah. a memory to it. So mm -hmm. and just even looking at these pieces, like I'd like you to tell us a little more about the pieces. It it gives you a feeling. So it's it gives you that I'm gotta get back to the country and it's a relaxing well, home feeling kind they of thing. Have a, a warm feeling too, which wood has anyway. Absolutely. If you, yeah. you pick it up or you touch it, it feels sad and he's smooth and warm even though it's yeah, not like the well and it's it. just uh, nature is artistic in its own right it's already there right we don't have to necessarily go looking for yeah, it yeah, and you guys just, are a great example well, of it's that. just a natural hidden beauty that's in wood and no two pieces are the same like it's yeah. everything's yeah. unique no, I love that as well different. and Jen is that something you and Mitch take pride in as well that each piece that you make is is very unique from the other yes it is yeah it is um, even though our subject matter is similar. It's just a different take on each scene. Yeah, right. we should go through some of yeah. your others. So what are we looking at here? This one's called Autumn Marsh. And again, it's from, from the cottage. Um, so I do landscapes as well. Okay. Even though I, I'm focusing on a boat series right now. So it's, it's lovely how the, the warmth in the background reflects back down. And I noticed uh, some of the photos that you sent, and I, it, it, one of them might come up here, is Mitch does some textured looked landscape as well, That's right? That's right. He's working on a series of textured landscapes. They're, they're quite dreamlike. Um, yeah, you, can, you, f you, feel, you can see different things in it. It's like um, on a summer day, you yeah. look up the clouds and and like I see a swimmer there and somebody else might see something else. I saw f infinity. I, it's, to me, it's an image that kind of carries on. Mm. It's this warm, well, easy there's feeling so much that depth, continues. Yeah, there's right? so much because depth Because of the to texture it. that he's using. What type of paint would he use for he that? He uses acrylic for that. Okay. He, he uses a paste to build it up and makes the texture and then goes in with the color and color washes. I want to show some of your bronze pieces as well right. because yes. something yeah. you and Mitch are very passionate about. That's and they're, right. they're absolutely gorgeous. What is it like working with bronze? Well, we are actually uh, working with an oiled clay to start off with. Okay. And then we make a mold and then have it cast at a foundry. This particular piece that we're looking at is called Dancing in the Rain, and it's built to be a fountain piece so that okay. the water can be piped up through the... Um, the sculpture and it comes and drips off the back of her veil over her head so it would be a wonderful piece for your special backyard right yeah absolutely I've also done a series based on Wagner's ring cycle I did a dozen pieces this is the first one I did it's from the opening scene uh, of the opera and it's not that I'm an opera nut but the story behind it is just absolutely fascinating and Gary are you here locally as well and no I come from the Napanee area oh, okay a small village it's not, called not Tamworth. far no yeah, well we it was about two hours this morning yeah you were here bright and early yeah, this morning yeah. we appreciate you wasn't uh, too sure of the traffic situation here yeah. we don't have anything like that in Tamworth <laughs> Thank you both for, for making it out here. We really do appreciate it. You'll be there all weekend long at the That's EY right. Center. And the nice thing is that you get to approach and talk and speak to the artists directly. So yeah. again, happening this Saturday, Sunday at the EY Center, the Cottage and Backyard Show. Don't go away. We'll be back with more daytime right after this. Go check it out.